Welcome to Manal Restaurant. This is the premium luxury restaurant in Islamabad. It's so high up on the hill. You've got the restaurant here, the Pakistan, 15 miles outside of Islamabad to get to this restaurant. And you have to really work hard to get here, negotiating with taxis to uh, make the trip. Hello, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh yeah. This might go pro. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. And it is worth the effort just for the view. What do you think? Just for that view. Look at the big lake out there. It goes way out. Okay, so we'll get in. We'll get settled. It looks like there's a number of open tables. Ideally, we can snag one with a viewpoint. Um, but we'll see. We don't have any sort of reservation. We asked around. People seemed um to say that you don't need reservations and there's a number of open tables so i can see that but to actually get here from islamabad it took all types of negotiating uber would not pick up in drive did pick up but then there was a private negotiation between us and the driver uh round trip 3500 but the driver's gonna wait he's gonna wait two hours take your time that kind of deal so it should be no problem hello sir family section so you can see, quite popular. I, I guess we just see it ourselves is how it works. We'll get away from this music a little bit and find a table. Sitting was no problem. We really walked right in. Yeah. They sat us down. It's perfect. There's different sections for reservations. Yes, for yes, yes. So. so we're up high on the hill, but the view, expansive while you come. Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and a, a, a stacked menu to say the least. Granted, did you see the picture of what's on mom's place, Matt? Here, look at that. Is that what you're getting right at the bat? Just done, done, son, getting that cheeseburger? Or the wings. Or the wings, yeah. By the way, these are our beautiful Pakistani clothes yeah. that we got uh, in shopping. the. Yeah, shopping in our Pakistan shopping Islamabad uh, video. It was a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Check out the henna tattoos. That lady was awesome. Yeah. That took less than. 15 minutes. Yeah, it was, was amazingly really, really fast. Good. Yeah. Really fast. Quite quite lovely. All right, well, we'll peruse the menu and show you what that's all about, but already, I mean, the ambiance here quite lovely, quite lovely. So while we are waiting on our starters, and we ordered a ton of food that will be coming out is the call to prayer is playing over the speaker system. And it actually it's a very I don't know, it's a nice scene, isn't it? Yeah, the call to prayer, this, this windy day, you've got the Pakistan flag blowing in the wind. Quite, uh, it's a great way to set the tone, I think. Yeah. All right, after some musical chairs, the first round of bread has been brought out. So we've got the mutton cheese naan and then the regular cheese naan. And Cal, how's it taste? It is really spicy. It's almost like it has like a Nacho cheese with jalapenos and little, uh -huh, man. little pieces of vegetables in it. Cedar, how's your taste? You like nice it? Nice and spicy. Nice and spicy. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Granite, are you going to go for that mutton, the cheese non mutton? Mmm. Mm -hmm. For me, this is much more like a cracker texture. Where I can see that cheese naan is more like a like a pizza calzone. This one's more like a cracker. What do you think, Granite? Pretty good. You like it? You can probably use ketchup if you want. It's not like the best, but not it's, your favorite, it's but okay. It's good. It's not bad. It's it's yeah. I see where they're going with it. Uh, when I see all the cheese and that cheese naan, though, I'm sort of like, ooh, what's going on over there? But this, mm. yeah, very cracker texture. Spicy, a little spicy. But with the mutton, you can see, I mean, it's got the, the bread layer. They put the meat right on top, bake it with some cheese. All right, I'm gonna give the cheese naan a try. This is really what they're famous for. A lot of reviews online talk very specifically about this cheese naan, and you can see it is definitely a cheesy naan stuffed crust on top. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> It de you, you said like a nacho cheese flavor. I totally it agree. Like yeah, bread. it tastes like nachos and bread. Yeah. That's a compliment, by the way. That's quite delicious. <laughs> yeah, what do you think out of the cheese one, Granite? It's nice and spicy. You like that one more? Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. jalapenos in it. 
Yeah, the jalapenos are uh, quite nice. The mutton bread, uh, that's it's not bad. It, it was not, not anyone's particular favorite, but this cheese naan is uh, something really nice about that one. Dinner has been served and it looks absolutely delicious. The meat platter, lamb, kebab, chicken, the rice. Granite, how's the smash burger? Delicious. It's looking epic, man. That's a good it's smash burger. Nice and messy. Nice and messy, just the way you like it. Forrest, you like your, ha your hot dog? Hey. Uh, the ketchup's going for, for Forrest quite well. See, Kelly, what'd you get? I got the dal chana makmi. So it's like a dal lentils plus the chana uh, garbanzo beans all mixed together it's spicy it looks like a good gravy yeah it's really thick and delicious what's the rice called halal halal so it's a mixed rice um this one carrots has, raisins i think apricots or oh, something apricots something sweet. nice Could nice be carrots, but i think it's apricots and raisins on it cool and cedar house the hot dog treating you good good hot dog nice all right so again the mixed meat platter i think the biggest one i'm looking forward to is the kebab the mutton kebab. Mm. Absolutely does not disappoint. Quite delicious. And we all got drinks. So Cedar, how's the how's your Sprite? Great. Quite delicious? Yeah. Nice. Good. Hey, I have a question about your kebab. Did you yes. get different cuts? Is it different cuts? Or? No, these it's all the same cut, but then you got steak, I believe some kind of beef, chicken, and then you've got the uh, mutton chops that go along with it. So it's oh. kind of a mix, like a mixed like, platter. Definitely mixed platter. And this this whole portion serves two, but I think we'll get away. I mean, that's at, at least me and the kids. So, um, you know, maybe three adults wouldn't share that, but it's specifically for two on the menu. So, Grant, how are your fries? They look kind of interesting. They're good. They're like um, they got like spices added to it. Okay. Like um, they look like they're battered and fried. Yeah. 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 Quite nice. Quite lovely. All right. And my favorite, the Lassi, the sweet lassi. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Granny, you want to try the sweet lassi? It's too big. Sure. Right? All right. You use that straw closest to you. Mom, look. Do you see the lights? Yeah, that's good. You like that one? Yes. Yeah. yeah, me too. It tastes like buttermilk. Yeah, I think so. Buttermilk's a good description. Hey, what's going on back there, you two? Forrest, <laughs> Forrest so lasted in his uh, fancy clothes for about half hour. Okay, that's minutes? generous. I was okay. gonna say fifteen, but we'll go forty-five. He's going. To, he's potty training, so he's going to the bathroom. Now. Oh, he's going to potty. Yeah. All right, we'll see you when you get back, champ. Okay. All right. So while Kelly took care of that, the lamb chop that is salty and delicious. Definitely hit it with the um, kind of the salt-based seasonings. Quite nice. All right, Cedar. Mm -hmm. How are your fries? They're good. Yeah, traditional. Yeah. Thin cut. Did you do you, you want to try any of that rice? Maybe later. All right. So it's an interesting mix uh, with the kids. I'm glad they have such a an extensive kids menu: hot dogs, hamburgers, to complement more of the Pakistani traditional food. It's just a good blend. We've had so much great Pakistani food these last couple of days. It's nice though to change it up for at least the kids, hot dogs, hamburgers. But the Palau rice, that kind of minced, mixed rice. Yeah. Recognizable Pakistani flavors in the Palau rice. Uh, definitely um, sweet with those carrots and the raisins or apricots. Uh, yeah, quite nice. But it's a good all-around platter. Granny, you happy with your meal? Yep. Cedar, you happy with your meal? Yep. And that meat platter is great. Now, again, kids, help yourself to uh, any of the cuts of meat if you're so interested. Sound good? Yep. Whew. About halfway through the meal, plates are getting clear. Well, mostly, a lot, of, a lot at least the hot dog's gone. <laughs> but what do you think, Cedar? What's your favorite so far? Mm, my favorite is the view. Oh, the view. Oh, that's great. Well yeah, the done. The view is fantastic. Yeah, and all the city lights are coming online. It uh -oh. is It is a gorgeous it is view. This Good is call, Cedar. A great way to wrap up our time in Islamabad and wrap up our time in Pakistan. It's fantastic. I'm glad we got Palau because we've been waiting this whole trip to find it and yes. we haven't found it yet. So. Yeah, quite delicious. Go ahead, Cedar. Um, you should come here because it's a really good view. It is 
the whole city, right? I think it's totally worth the 15 kilometers to get up here, the 15K. Now, again, the thing about the taxi is we were warned that we might find a ride up here, but there aren't just a bunch of taxis sitting out front of this restaurant waiting to get people rides home. So we were able to kind of pre-negotiate that our driver would give us a couple of hours and uh, that was great. Granite, how's your meal coming along? I'm trying to get up full. Start to slow down, you got half a burger still, man. You can do it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. And this guy, one-eyed Willie over there. How you doing, buddy? Good times? All right, you can do it. So we're really starting to like finish off the the meat platter I, again for two is perfect for the kind of our group of three who are meat eaters and yeah. we'll uh continue on it'll be interesting to see if we end up with a dessert or something we'll I find out so. we hope so. yeah, we'll, see, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens okay all right dessert time we have a little bit of a East meets West, a classic uh, Pakistani dessert with a humongous bowl of ice cream. I that that's got to be the big one. I definitely order the small, but that if that's the small, I can't imagine what the big one looks like. Yeah. All right, everybody, should we uh, attempt this mega dessert? So it looks like vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, and a whole bunch of like fruit in the middle. How is it? I can see like. Yummy? Whipped cream, cherries, whipped cream, cherries, chocolate. Mm. <laughs> Guys, what are you thinking of that? Still right. That's gonna work? Can I have extra spoon, please? Yes, yes. <laughs> I think you're supposed to put it in your bowl. Well, you know, that's okay. <laughs> eh. I, they did deliver bowls, but it looks like we're just going for it. Oh my god, fat. Let's get a new one. Some 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 like jelly jelly pieces in there. And a cream. Yeah, some kind of cream. And really, the base in there looks like it's a bunch of fruit. So a bunch of like papaya. Oh, there's brownies in there. Oh no. Way at the bottom of the whole thing's lined with brownies. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Epic dessert. Dive it in here in the sugary kind of donut holes, as I'll call them. Pakistani dessert. Mm. Man, I think it would have been fine with just that. That ice cream is just over the top. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, that's so good. Wow, what a what a dessert spread. So we will attempt attempt to knock out this dessert. I don't know if we're gonna do it. Daddy, I need mm. to play. Yeah, put it in your bowl, buddy. Outstanding. I can't believe there's a huge brownie on the bottom of the bowl. Grant, are you gonna hook up for us? Yep. All right. Help him out a little. Nice. He's got some chocolate there. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm more of a vanilla fan myself. Same. I mean, it's just brownie, all types in there. What kind of fruit? Definitely like papaya. It's kind of a mixed fruit. I can't quite taste it all, but it's uh, it's really nice. Maybe a pineapple. Pineapple, papaya, mm. cherries. Yeah, quite lovely. Good. Here, I'm gonna pass this down to you, Kelly. Whoosh. Oh, it's warm. Yeah, it's really warm. Wow. Boris, how's your ice cream? Thumbs up. Nice. No talking. Just eating. Granite, you like? Mm. Cool. All right. I'm going in for it. I think it's gulab. A gulab? Gulab. Maybe. Mm. It's like a warm donut with it's soaked like a, in sugar syrup. Yeah, warm donut hole so, soaked in sugar. When we lived in Dubai, there was a version of this. And when we lived in India, there was a version of this as yeah. well. So This one's really good, though. Yum. It's Quite so delicious. delicious. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do our best to knock out this dessert and I will touch base with you here at the end. Well, a few of us are tuckered out, but the meal at Manal. That was good. That was good. Yeah. I'd say the view absolutely makes the drive worth it. The meal in itself, I like that there was a 
Eastern Western blend on the menu. There's a huge menu actually. Yeah, it is so massive. Crazy. Yeah, I yeah. wish we were more hungry actually. But <laughs> granted, Cedar, what was your highlight of the meal? The ice cream. Ice cream? What about you, Cedar? Um, I have two. Okay, go ahead. Ice cream and hot dog. Ice cream and hot dog. That's nice. Good call. All right, total bill. 14,190 rupiah for the meal. And we ordered a lot of food. We were not, uh, we did not hold back. So no. quite delicious, huh, Cal? We um, ordered more than we more, thought. More than we <laughs> than thought, what yeah. we thought we actually ordered. It was a, a little over the top. But either way, when you're up here at Manal, get a seat, get the view, enjoy yourself. Yeah, treat yourself. Yeah, quite a nice place. It's a nice luxury dinner. A luxury dinner at Manal. All right, everybody. See you in the next episode.